Hi guys, I have good news. This morning I had my appointment and uh, I was pretty excited about it. I was wondering about Clomid, general pessaries, and even thinking about starting again with Vitex. But good news is I don't have to start any of those uh, because um, we might be accepted uh, for a research program. So they cover 80% of the IVF price which is amazing. So that means we have enough money to actually go for an IVF cycle. And that, not this one because I just started my cycle day one today. Uh, but uh, the next one will probably be the one where I'm going to be starting my uh, injections for IVF, which I'm so excited about. And uh, I even asked my dog, I was ready to accept the fact that maybe my eggs weren't good enough or IVF and maybe I should consider my friends eggs and I was at the point where I just told myself well you know if my eggs are not good enough or strong enough well I might as well just pay for someone else's egg so that way at least I'm sure that it's gonna work and I, I won't feel like if it doesn't work it's not gonna be on me because I feel like the pressure is mostly on me because I know I'm mostly the issue. I know we both have issues, but him with the supplements that he's taking, it helps so much that we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but the doctor, when I told him about like my friend that was ready to donate me her eggs, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna pick up my, my dog. My baby girl, she's all about love. So anyways, uh, so when I asked him about, because today with the questions, I had a list of questions that I wanted to ask, so I asked him about donating eggs and how it works and uh, at the prices and whatnot, so then he looked at me and he was pretty surprised when I asked him, he was like, why would you want to have someone else's eggs? Like, And he looked at my eggs from the last cycle of my IUI and he's like, at this point, it's it's mostly for the sperm that we want to make sure that it gets in because your eggs are amazing. You respond well to the meds. So all this time I was actually getting myself ready for uh, the possibility of actually not being my genetics. And the doctor was pretty like confident that I had pretty much good chances of it working because the meds, I was responding well to it and my eggs were good and they looked good. So... He didn't think I had any issues at this point with my eggs as much as I did at the beginning. So, so I feel like it's good news. Like it, it means that it could work now, you know. So he told me that uh, he uh, because he saw that I was pretty relieved. He's like, well, at this point, if it's really about money, there's an option for you that I was thinking about you going and. There's a few tests that we need to, to do, which we already had set appointments for that. So next week, it's all going to be done. The tests are all going to be in, and by the next cycle, uh, it should be all in the computers, uh, our files. It should be all complete. So it's good news. I feel like I had a whole bunch of weight off my shoulders just when he told me that at this point, like, I was having as much chance as anyone else with my eggs, with all the hormones that I'm taking, the supplements and everything. Like he said that he's, he was pretty positive that I could have a child of my own. And even though I was actually accepting the fact that it wouldn't be my eggs, I still, there's a little side of me that still wanted it to be ours, you know, like anyone else. So, this is good news. So, we have a bunch of papers to sign, as usual, and consentment, like, papers to sign with a witness, and everything needs to be done by next Wednesday, so that way we can give them the papers, and I'll be done. The doctor told my DH that he should continue with the supplement, because DH stopped the last time when our, when our IUI failed. He stopped taking supplements because we felt like... At this point, I uh, might as well like, take a little break. For, take a little break of everything. And the doctor said that uh, with the DNA fragmentation, uh, on its own, if my DH stopped taking the the supplements on its own, there was no chance at all 
of us getting pregnant on our own. But if, if he took them, even though my egg quality is not as good, it still could work. So on its own, DNA fragmentation, well, it depends on how much high the percentage is. But if it's pretty high, like, honestly, I got to tell you, got to be honest with you, uh, like he told us that it was almost 0% of chances that we could conceive. Or if we did, it'd be a miscarriage right away. So, the supplements for my DH, we need them. We really do. And I feel like if ever, like he told, the doctor told us today that even at this point, um, it's as if we're starting over. It's like, you know, we're a brand new couple starting, you know, we're starting to conceive. So, with the supplements that he has. So, even though my eggs are not, like I said, even though my eggs aren't good quality, it still could work. But it's just with the DNA fragmentation, that's how it got complicated. So we didn't know all of that because the last doctors that we had, every time we asked questions, they, they just didn't go into much details. And every time I told about my eggs, like they kind of brushed it off. They, they, come, they, they saw that it wasn't as good quality, but they didn't give us more information. So I had to Google it. And sometimes, you know, like me and you, when we Google, the information on Google is not the same because my medical issues might not be the same as yours and someone else who has medical issues with their eggs might not be the same as mine. And since I do respond well to the medication, um, there's hope. And since my DH responds pretty well to the medication too, there's hope for us. So I'm really excited. And uh, at before going to the appointment, me and my DH, we had an, a little argument because I felt like he was shutting me out. Like every time I wanted to talk about it because we need, I, I told him like, we need to talk about it because we need to have a list of questions that we want to ask because it's getting confusing. We have options to look into and we don't know we don't know what's going on. We don't know if anything is good. Like, I know last time my eggs were good, but I don't know if it was because of the mess. Like, there's a bunch of questions that I wanted to ask. And I wanted to make sure that he had answers to his questions. And he was just shutting me out, and I was kind of disappointed. And so we had a little argument. It wasn't like a big fight or anything. It was just like, I felt like he didn't want to open up about the options that we had and we needed to have the we need to have the discussion because we were going to see the doctors and I needed answers and I, I feel like he needed answers too you know like it's for both of us not only me so eventually he did tell me that he had a few questions and he didn't understand a few things and I did understand a bunch of stuff because for me the weight it was only on my shoulders because once we knew that his DNA fragmentation was good like it all fell down on me you know I felt like I'm giving up on myself but I'm not giving up on having a family I'm just giving up on the fact that I might be good for the IVF so everything seemed to be good and I'm so excited I prayed for like what a few weeks before that appointment I prayed and I prayed and I prayed because I wanted an answer I wanted a sign and and I and I think I have it now. It, it's not my two rainbows. Of course it's not. But I mean like. Uh, it's. Actually. It was all about the financial situation. It was all about like maybe. Maybe it's not men. Maybe I'm not supposed to be the mom. Maybe. Maybe. Well not the mom. But maybe it's not supposed to be my ex. And maybe I should just accept that it's going to be someone else's. There was a bunch of like questions that I was wondering and didn't know and I just needed someone to, to guide me in what direction and I didn't think IVF was an option for us because it felt like it was out of reach with the price and every time last time when they told us about IVF they told us that we needed a different kind of IVF uh, with uh, where they have a magnet magne magnetic thing to actually divide the sperm and make sure that the good ones are in and not the wrong ones uh, from the DNA fragmentation one. So anyway, so there was a bunch of like questions and you know, I was 
starting not to give up on the family, like I said, but give up on myself. So I feel like I had my answer because not only is it 80%, the doctors told me that I was good now with all the meds, I am good. So if any of you out there who feel like your eggs aren't good enough, make sure that you ask the right questions to your doctor and not just Google it. Because if it was only for Google, like for me, my eggs are not good quality and there was no hope and everything. But then again, I kept thinking about how it was at the beginning, but never how it is now. And that's the problem with me because every time when I would look, I would look at my eggs, uh, numbers that we had before, I kept looking at them and feel like, oh my gosh, it's never going to happen because look, we did nine, nine, nine IUIs and it never worked. So I felt like it was all on me because my eggs, you know, they're not good. But I never considered that every time they did switch combo, it's like in my head, I was stuck at the beginning of our IUIs where they did not know that my eggs weren't as good and they needed a little bit more push. So now that everything is set, we have a good news and a good fresh start and I'm so excited and I have my answer. So it's going to be my genetics, it's going to be my DH genetics and I really hope I'm going to have twins because honestly I don't want to go through that again and I really hope I'm going to be accepted for the research program. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I'm going to keep you updated, of course. It's going to be a little bit more complicated with the IVF because it's going to be a different program. Um, but then again, you know, it's cheaper and it, supposedly it's something they actually do in Europe. But now there's, they want to make it different because in Europe, the dosage of the meds that they're going to try on us, it's lower and uh, my doctor told me that here, how we do things, it's a little bit more aggressive. So that's why they had a research program to make sure that the way they want to do it here is not going to be too aggressive for us. So I'm going to keep you updated. I wish I wish you the best. And baby, that's you. We deserve this. You deserve this. That's my alarm telling me that my cookies are ready. So... Baby does, and I'm going to continue praying for you, and I'm going to continue to pray for myself because it's a long journey, but it's going to happen. Bye.